You know, what about doing something that you did sort of walk through yep. with cardboard, but then there's some translucent components to it as well. Like what if it was, what if it's this shape, but we're, we're cutting it off. Visually, it'll have a, a strong presence. What if the structure had a bit of roughness to it? What if we did the inverse of that vertically out of cardboard? Yeah, that'd be so you see through it some way, and that's why you see. Uh -huh. You almost have to get like a little, I feel like a little model. Right. Right? It'd be nice to look at it. We've got a front house. <laughs> oh, yeah. The cardboard. Nice. Mm hmm. Yeah, it just gets really sort of, you know, active and kind of wild, right? Yeah. Should we maybe go more like 30 inches apart? Door, trim, header, like all that stuff you would kind of see in a traditional house mm -hmm. format. Made out of free form. But once you're in, it just sprawls out, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. This is the one thing that everybody has to see. Uh, I'm Justin Kane Elder with Electric Coffin. My name is Duffy and I'm from Electric Coffin. My name is Stefan Hoffman. I'm one of the founders at Electric Coffin. We're a multidisciplinary studio that uses art uh, to apply to a multitude of industries and disciplines, sort of blurring the line between conventional and unconventional problem solving. Electric Coffin is a creative think tank that just design build so we can come up with an idea and actually bring it into the physical world. We all come from art and design backgrounds. We wanted to really create a studio that enabled us to blur those lines effectively in the industries around us and not be pigeonholed into one space. We really enjoyed bringing those disparate points together and working in both simultaneously. So the project we're working on now is to build an installation for the entrance of IDS Vancouver, which is the largest interior design show on the West Coast. LightArt was a natural collaborator for us to, to reach out to for this installation. And this year's theme is Explore, which I think is relevant not only to our studio and what we do in our, our process, um, but also to what LightArt's doing and how they've approached light fixtures. I'm Ryan Smith. I started Light Art 10 years ago. We're an architectural lighting custom fabrication studio. We make big, crazy things. Yeah, we ran across Electric Coffin through a friend and we started talking about some projects. And they wanted to involve us in this collaboration. Light Art is based in Seattle. Electric Coffin is based in Seattle. We're literally blocks away from each other. And so when we connected and this idea came up about collaborating, we're like, oh yeah, that, that seems like kind of a cool idea. Yeah, what can we do? A lot of times we use screen printing within our work to just apply a veneer or a texture that uh, gives it a hand-worked feel. LightArt is getting their laser cutter fixed. We broke it with this project. <laughs> this shut us down for a whole day and a half. We had to call our operator in. And uh, really screwed up our schedule. We got it all cut. It got back on the Got us a puzzle. Like right. But really what it comes down to is, what is it gonna feel like to just walk through this thing, right? I mean, that's that's the simplest way to, this thing is gonna be judged. You know, it really doesn't matter kind of what we thought, right? 
uh, it is just going to be this this kind of experiential sculpture. There's a beauty in just art, right? Art is supposed to give you kind of that experience at some level, right? It's a visual experience or a physical experience. Uh, this has that quality, and I think light art is a. We love doing that too. I mean, we're we're bringing that that sense of uh, just trying something different and. and and looking for that kind of experience into what we do. And I think Electric Coffin does the same thing. We are putting the connecting brackets on so when we put the next slice in, she'll bolt right up, but without bolts. Just our brains and our hands. We're, we're sort of just trying to say, okay, let's, let's just make this be a bit of this kind of wonderful experiment in art. Because uh, because we all kind of believe in that. That's that's probably our unifying fact in all this, right? It's half of our name anyway. But I think we're all sharing that same page. And what's great about art is you never have to define it. So you're you're completely unified because you don't have to to measure against anybody's idea of what they're thinking or should be or ego or it's all kind of removed. And and that's what's fun working with a really talented group of people that can fully be a part of that and the ego is kind of taken out of it. It's just this kind of true experience, process, path, road to get to something that we haven't done before. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. And it's all lit up. That's so cool. That turned out amazing. It's a really exciting part of the process right now because we're able to get our hands dirty, things are in the studio, things are happening, starting to see the real opportunities. Um, since we have it in our space, it's no longer abstract or conceptual. Uh, so it's uh, this is a really fun part of the process. And then it'll get packed up on a trailer, we'll smuggle it through the border um, <laughs> with all the appropriate paperwork. and. Uh, and build it on site, and hopefully everything goes smooth. I'm sure it will, um, but even if it doesn't, that's part of the fun.